Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. And today we're back with more Keeper RL. Last time, we got attacked by the Lizardmen, and we won. We took some prisoners. Now, the graphic doesn't really represent that the prisoners are Lizardmen, and it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what our prisoners are. They're our prisoners, and they're good for a few things. But what we need before they're good for anything is to build a prison room and a torture room. In fact, I'll probably just build it all out to be one big room. One big room with a prison and a torture room. Oh hey, we even get a vampire. That's super cool. Everything in this episode is turning up from last episode, losing most of our forces. Now why are they taking... There we go. They were taking a while before they got to building my prison. Luckily, our prisoners are our prisoners no matter what. Just because we don't have a prison to put them in doesn't mean they're going to wander away. And it would be nice to be able to see in our prison, as well as I think that the torture room might actually work off of room efficiency. So that would be beneficial to just have that. So we will put a prison there. We're going to put a door right there so that... It's a little harder to get at our prisoners. Then we're gonna put a little torture room right over here. Just to just to torture our prisoners a little bit. So our torture room looks pretty let's, let's give it a second to let the imps get out of the way. The torture room looks pretty treacherous. And you might wonder, why would we want to torture our prisoners? Well, if you torture a prisoner, you get mana. You can also execute them, in which you can put their heads on a pike outside of your dungeon and send a message to your foes. I don't know what that does exactly. Um, you can also set them to do manual labor and they will work like your imps, but I've always been weary of that because then they're out and about doing their things and I don't, I don't want them to escape or attack anybody, so let's just, let's just torture one of our one of our prisoners and the goblin comes in here and tortures them and we just get massive uh, mana for a little bit that prisoner didn't have much life left in him uh, he was tortured to death almost instantaneously now we're gonna let our orc shaman torture this other prisoner and it's gonna do a better job see it tortures the health out of it and then heals it up then tortures it and heals it up and that's how you get a lot of mana from doing this so what we're gonna want to do with all this mana is get humanoid mutations so that we can start getting legendary I don't know I don't, I'm not entirely sure what they call them legendary humanoids I don't know they look like lizard men that are on our side we get a second vampire that's super helpful um under the cover of night, we actually would probably do pretty well against uh, against this town or this castle over here, but I'm weary because we're nearing the end of night, and I wouldn't want to get caught out there with my pants down. Plus, they're only level 2 and 1, so maybe we hold off on that, let them just defend us for the day. Maybe get some other people up in here. Hard to say. Hard to say. We do not need all of those people crafting. We need more labs. More alchemy. So we've tortured our prisoners to death. We no longer have prisoners. Oh well. We don't particularly need them. As far as our research goes, I think we're working up towards Master Sorcery and then getting Kraken Breeding is the last thing. We'll just play around with Kraken Breeding in our little water hole over here. I don't really know what that does. Should be fun. In the meantime, we need to expand so that we can get more people. But, I'm worried about payouts again. I'm not the most worried. I think we'll be okay, but I am worried about payouts again. So I'm not entirely sure what we should do. Maybe build a bigger lab so that we can have our potions going quicker, because we've got a lot of equipment now. In fact, maybe throw... No, you don't train. You go to the lab. Orcs train. Orcs train and become better at fighting. Vampires train and become better at fighting. 
and a little worried about our money situation. A little worried. Now, we do have that, so I think I'm going to build a bridge over here to try to fix our money situation there, and let's save. Saving is the key to this alpha, because if we don't save, terrible things might happen. Ooh, another vampire. He's studying? That's cool and all, but I would want him training. I got enough people on the study. It's cool. We got enough mana for right now. We can increase our mana at a slow rate and be fine. Now I'm pretty sure since our zombies couldn't go outside, the vampires can't go outside either. I suppose that might not be true. Description. Vampire is large and undead humanoid with two arms, two legs, strong and agile but slow. Agile but slow? That doesn't necessarily make the most sense to me. Well... I'm worried about money, because we don't have a lot of it. We do not have a lot of it. In fact, I'm worried enough that I'm going to take my troop of vampires, and we're going to go pay that castle a visit. It is time for the vampires to take over. And, uh, if we have to, we can just have the vampires live in the castle. Oh, we're being attacked. Well, never mind if we're being attacked. Wait, we're being attacked by these guys. We're being attacked by the people that we went to go attack. It's a counter-assault. Oh. We can do this. The vampires are strong. The vampire is not hurt. Hopefully, we can do this and then get out of here before day fall daybreak oh no my head is chopped off it's not good it's not good at all do you have any sort of uh no no you're that's not good uh i thought this was gonna go a lot better than it's going right now <laughs> okay well do you have any sort of equipment but no sorry Wrong button. Command. Uh, well, you're, you're, crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That went well. So now, we are going to be, oh, how many warriors are we being attacked by? They're coming from all sides. Keeper! Keeper, things are gonna get hairy. Luckily, you're level 10. Oh, but is that gonna be enough? Will it be enough? Actually, do we have the mana to get Master Sorcery? Because that would be super helpful. Oh, we're five mana away. Can we get it before they... C can we get those five mana before they come in here and attack? No, we can't. Damn. Okay. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Those extra spells would be extremely helpful at this point. Alright, we're going to cast Haste Self, Strength, Dexterity, Deception, Summon Insects. Take a look at my inventory real quick. I got an awesome short bow and a battle axe, a bunch of arrows, Some pretty decent armor. Bunch of potions of healing if we need them, first aids if we need them. Wish, hopefully, we're in a good place. Keeper, I understand things look bad right now. Whoa. Yeah, that's right. Attack! Attack! So powerful. Luckily, my keeper is super powerful with all of these spells and all of this speed. Who can stand in our way? Chop all of the humans with your battle axe, Keeper. Then shoot down the... Oh, wrong button. Shoot down the hall and get all of the terrible humans that are coming to end your reign of terror. Double terror. But hey! What are you doing fighting the library? Stop fighting my library! That's my library. 
Did we defeat the humans yet? Or are there more? Oh yeah, you wanna? What are you doing? You just down here looting my shit and killing my minions? Get out of here. Yeah, Goblin, I think you can take them. I've weakened them. There's, there's so many more. I, I, what? I can't even believe it. I think my buffs may have worn off, but that's okay. I'm not too worried at this point. Oh, and we win. The warriors surrender and become prisoners. So if anybody was curious about how prisoners happen, that is how they happen. You cannot get prisoners from going out and attacking other nations. People have to attack you and then lose. Now it's kind of nice that they, they have this money right here. I kind of want to check that out. How much money did you leave behind? Not a lot. Not a lot. Alright, well... We got a ton of mana from that. Wow. We are going to we are going to have no problem mastering sorcery and getting kraken breeding, as well as spending some mana replacing some imps that got killed in that. Uh, what else lives? A couple of orcs, maybe lived or possibly came at the end of that. Hard to say. A couple of goblins, more orcs. Well, it's a good way to clear out our dungeon of all of our minions that uh, we couldn't afford. We're gonna save. We're gonna save again and be very thankful that a crash hasn't happened. Alright, so those humans ended up being a lot more powerful than I expected. So what we're going to do is we're going to torture these two guys for all of the mana that they have. And we are going to use that mana to build out this ritual room. Try to get some more troops that we can send over. And try to kill the elves or humans up here. I don't know. I don't know where those guys came from. Marn? This is Marn. That's just the castle of Marn. So there's more, there's a town down here, and a bunch of chests. Interesting. Seems to be taking a while for our ritual room to uh, produce some creatures. I think I want to take a single orc and go investigate that human town and see what's left over there. Now he's barehanded, he's not going to survive if we end up finding anything up there. Maybe we should equip him with some stuff from earlier battles. Is there just money out here? What is... Inch what? Oh, well, we're gonna do this instead. We're gonna loot all of this money. I was aware that maybe this crappy armor and stuff was out here, but I didn't realize that all this money got left out here. Oh man, we're gonna have to collect all this stuff and bring it back home. You were carrying too much to pick stuff up? What are you doing? I can't even believe the things that I just found down there. I... What? Okay, I have to try something, because I had assumed that my imps were out there getting that like they were supposed to. Now maybe I have to have them fetch the items. Maybe I have to dispatch an imp. Maybe I have to take care of it manually. I don't know. Alright, well. I'm gonna form this team. 
And so we're gonna go out there. Is this? Yeah. Uh, wow, they're just not picking up the remains of bodies at all. Wait, maybe they are. You're carrying too much. So what we want is to switch over to you. So that you can pick up some stuff. You were carrying too much? Okay, our imps seem to be coming over here and collecting it now. So I'll ignore that. We're going to take all of our orcs and go down to the town. Oh. What's up, warriors? You, whoa. Die immediately. Oh, because there's one level 10 warrior just hiding. Maybe not hiding. He's in the front now, but I didn't notice him with those guys. So let's Let's see if this works out, or if this goes poorly. Oh, it's going pretty well so far. Yes. Okay. Well, we lost uh, a couple of our orcs. But we managed to get in here. Oh, and there's a shaman. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. The shaman can summon these ancient spirit things, and that just completely and totally... And killed my dude. So we're going to control this dude. We're not going to go fuck with that shaman. We're going to come down here and we're going to see about these chests in here. Hey, peasant. Die, peasant. Oh, where do you think you're going to go? You're going to come in here? Nope, these are my chests. There's a bunch of rats in here. I'm just going to leave those for you. Open the chest. Yes. More rats. Why are all of these full of rats? What are you doing? And a knife. Well, kill the woman. None of this was money, but we found a bunch of money on those bodies, as well as we pissed off that shaman, which was pretty fun. So, we're gonna have to be aware that there's a super powerful shaman in there. And, I don't know what to do about that. Peasants are getting killed by orcs, which is nice. Got a ghost. I don't know what to do with a ghost. What's a ghost capable of? Ghost. The ghost is a large spirit beast. It's agile, weak, and slow. I imagine it probably can't go outside. But I don't know. Uh, a kraken is 200. But we have the mana for it. What if... What say you we summon a kraken right there? What does that do for us? We can't control the Kraken. Kraken has an defense or an attack of 27 and a defense of 17. He doesn't show up on our list there. He doesn't show up here. I wonder if the Kraken actually is a, a functioning part of the game. I don't know anything about it. Let's just build out our ritual room. Ooh, succubus and ghosts. And try to figure out what these creatures do, because I don't know. We're getting some money. They dug out this already. Is this connected to my dungeon at all? No. Okay, we're going to find out what this surprise is. And that's what we're going to end the episode on. We're going to end the episode on finding out and dealing with what this surprise is. So go. You're being attacked by the humans. Whatever. I got zombie and succubus and doppelgangers. What do doppelgangers do? Doppelganger's large spirit beast. It is weak, clumsy, and slow. It can absorb. It's weird. What? What can ghosts do? Nothing. All right. All right. Oh, enemies. Oh, the shaman. Oh wow, the shaman has showed up. He is upset about the things that have happened to his people. I don't know how powerful is a succubus. How powerful? Not very at all how po how powerful is uh how powerful is a doppelganger not very at all uh well my keeper is pretty powerful we're gonna have to control the keeper and instead of going and checking out that surprise we're gonna have to save ourselves so haste self strength dexterity 
Invisibility. We're gonna go in there. Let's see what we can do about these ghosts and this shaman. If we kill the shaman, I bet the ghosts go. The shaman's not the most powerful. We sneak up on him. We may actually be able to. You know, I've never been able to successfully use my fire spear, because if you use it on top of your library, which is where most of my keeper battles happen, you set fire to the library and everything goes ablaze and is terrible. But, there, it didn't, but it didn't seem to actually uh, work out. Set ablaze there. Hope that doesn't catch fire to the rest of my dungeon. You have exterminated the armed forces of Marn. I guess it just took two battle axe swings. Go plunder everything. Um, and the body's on fire. And it looks like... Yes. It looks like the... Uh-oh. Uh the fire spear is something that follows me? Interesting. Um... What do I do? How do I how do I get rid of it? That makes sense why it would why I don't really control which way I launch it. I didn't I didn't realize it was a minion. Well how do I make it go away? Because I don't want it to catch fire to everything, because it will. Okay, it looks like it's gone now. Okay, so we could go plunder that place of its valuables which we probably will in the near future. Before I go, I need to make sure that I grab some wood, because it looks like that we've spent all our wood rebuilding everything. It's a little unfortunate. Our Kraken didn't get a chance to show anything off. Maybe he does stuff, maybe he doesn't. I don't know. It might be worth putting a Kraken next to that bridge and seeing if anything happens with that. But we've conquered the lizard men and we've conquered one of the two humans. We are two-fifths of the way of beating this campaign. We are getting a pretty sizable army. Everything's going pretty well. That could have been gone poorly. That could have gone real poorly. I was scared there that he was going to come in and wreck everything after he uh, defeated my orcs so thoroughly over here. But now we can actually go over there next episode and loot the castle. So... We're going to save, I'm nat 20, you've been rolling with nat 20, and we went the entire episode without a crash, it's amazing! See you guys next episode.